Okay, we're reviewing the Trading View script ICT Concepts by Lux Algo. The tags for this indicator are Educational, Trend Analysis, Support and Resistance, ICT, ICT Concepts, Inner Circle Trader, Price Action, Order Blocks, Market Structure, Lux Algo, and SMC. ICT Concepts indicator regroups core concepts highlighted by trader and educator, the inner circle trader, also known as ICT, into all-in-one toolkit. Features include market structure, MSS for market structure, and BOS for break of structure, order blocks, imbalances, buy side, sell side liquidity, displacements, ICT kill zones, and new week slash day opening gaps, also known as NW. OG or in, in or D O D O G, I think it is. So those are often uh, abbreviated there. Settings. So this is like the settings. I'm not going to read through that. You should see what they are to see if these settings are becoming for you. Here's the here's the uh, acronym here. NWOG for new week opening gap and NDOG for new day opening gap. I, I thought I knew it by heart. Apparently I don't. So here are some settings here where they show how the settings function with the chart. You can toggle MSS market structure shift with BOS break of structure separately and change the colors. And there's some settings as well for displacement, volume and balance, and the order blocks. And that is shown here, mitigated, not mitigated. And then also settings for liquidity and how that's exemplified here. Change in liquidity style. And they also feature fair value gap or FVG settings. So you can see how that fits in here. You can choose whether to see fair value gaps or implied fair value gaps. Uh, so for some people, depending on how you trade, that is actually something that is relevant to you. And here's the change in FVG style. Created, pierced, and filled. The different, um, what looks like the different order blocks there. New week opening gaps and new day opening gap settings. And there's also a tool for Fibonacci. That's very interesting that this is truly is an all-in-one indicator here. Extending lines, extended lines there. And then the kill zones. If you do trading based on any type of kill zones for the different shit, um, shifts, for the different sessions, New York, London, or Asian session. It says London twice. Oh, New York, London, open, London, close, and Asian session. And so these colors denote the different kill zones, these different color blocks here. Usage. By default, the indicator displays each feature relevant to the most recent price variations in order to avoid clutter on the chart and to provide a very similar experience to how a user will construct ICT concepts by hand. So what it's meant to do is duplicate, like you having to parse out all these different ICT concepts and actually plot them on your chart. Me personally, I love all-in-one type indicators. If, one, if I can locate a script like that that's reliable. Users can use the historical mode in the settings to see historical market structure or imbalances, the ICT concepts indicator has various use cases. Below, we outline many examples of how a trader could find usage of the features together. So that's just what this is depicting, um, the OB lines, the MSS market structure shift lines, FBG. We have here a BOS, a break of structure, another what looks like an M. MSS on the bear on the bullish side, FEG on the bullish side as well. In the above image, we can see price took out sell side liquidity. 
filled two bearish FVGs. So here is the sell side liquidity there. Even though it's green, it's the sell side liquidity. Filled two bearish FVGs, a market structure shift, which then led to a clean retest of a bullish FVG as a clean setup to target the order block above. So you can use all these concepts for a trading strategy centered on inner circle trading. That's what all of the, these are, inner circle trader concepts. Price then fills the OB, which creates a breaker level as seen in yellow. So this is supposed to be yellow. This is the breaker block or breaker level here. And so we have the FVG, FVG, FVG breaker level. Broken OBs can be useful for a trader using the ICT concepts indicator as it marks a level where orders have now been filled, indicating a solidified level that has proved itself as an area of liquidity. As the image above, we can see a trade setup using a broken bearish OB as a potential entry level. So it's clearly indicated here that this is the broken bearish OB. And this is the new week opening gap up here. So that's where the target has been set up there. We can see the new week opening gap or NWOG above was an optimal level to target considering price may tend to fill or react off of these levels according to ICT or inner circle trading. So for some people, I mean, based on inner circle trading, the new week opening gap is that target. In the next image above, we have another example of various use cases where the ICT concepts indicator hypothetically allows traders to find key levels and find optimal entry points using market structure. So this is the buy side liquidity up there, okay? And you can see the BPR, which some people feel like um, BPRs, balance price, balance price ratio. I'm thinking I, I think I know them by heart, but I don't, right? But BPR, balance priced something. But anyway, some people feel that BPRs are interchangeable with FVGs, that like FVG levels and BPR levels are the same. Perhaps they are not. When I when I put indicators on my chart to see like, do they line up exactly? They usually, if I click FVGs, they usually do replace where the BPRs were, but not always. But just, you can put it on your chart and play around with it as you see fit to do. As the image above, we can see a bearish market structure shift, or MSS, is confirmed, indicating a potential trade setup for targeting the balance price range. Okay, not balance price ratio. The balance price range imbalance below with they stop loss above the buy side liquidity. So again, here's the buy side liquidity. And then this is the like, stop this is the entry and this is the target down here at the basically bottom side of the bpr level although what we are demonstrating here is a hindsight example it shows the potential usage of this toolkit the potential usage this toolkit gives you for creating trading plans based on ict concepts so it kind of puts it all together here. And then here are some settings here. Same chart, but playing out the history further, we can see directly after price came down to the sell side liquidity and swept below it. So the sell side liquidity, again, is this um, green line here. Then by enabling IFVGs in the settings, we can see the IFVG retests alongside the sell side and buy side liquidity acting in confluence. So the liquidity sweep is labeled here, goes up, clean the retest of implied FVGs there, here, and there respectively. 
which allows us to see a great bullish structure in the market with various key levels for potential entries. So this is going to depend, uh, like most things, on your trading style. But it has these things marked. Clean three tests of implied FEGs. There, there. And here, where you see the circles there. Here we can see a potential bullish setup as price has taken out a previous sell site liquidity zone. And it's now retesting a NWOG or new week opening gap plus volume imbalance. So that's here. The new week opening gap is like this red striation here. This here. Users also have the option to display Fibonacci retracements based on market structure order blocks and imbalance areas, which can help place limit stop orders more effectively, as well as finding optimal points of interest beyond what the primary ICT concepts features can generate for a trader. So that's this here on this chart. In the above image, we can see the Fibonacci extension was selected to be based on the NWOG or new week opening gap, giving us some upside levels above the buy side liquidity. So that's here, the buy side. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong about that. This is uh, sell side liquidity here, this green line here, and then this, the red is the buy side liquidity. That botches me up because my, my colors are according to, you know, bullish and bearish. But this see, is the buy side liquidity up. And this is the details area that just describes what these different, basically these parameters are based on. Market structure. Market structure labels are constructed from price breaking a prior swing point. This allows the user to determine the current market trend based on the price action. And then what the labels include here. I'll let you read that. A MSS occurs when price breaks a swing low in an uptrend or a swing high in a downtrend, highlighting a potential reversal. This is often labeled as CHOCH -C in other, they're saying in other, in the sense of other indicators or other scripts, not here. But ICT specifies it as an MSS it, or arguably a BOS. I mean, they're not interchangeable, but similar. A breakup structure is like a market structure shift going the same direction as price already was. That's my understanding of it. Whereas a market structure shift is when the market is reversing. So a BOS, a breakup structure, is in the like like um is in the current direction, let's say, and a market structure shift is in the opposite direction of where prices come from. On the other hand, BOS labels occur when price breaks a swing high in an uptrend or swing low in a downtrend. The occurrence of these particular swing points is caused by retracements, inducements that highlight liquidity hunting in lower time frames. So to me, my explanation is simpler than like the one they just tried to give. Because I mean, I'm not sure I will understand that language um, if I were newer or just less apt to technical language. But you'll see, again, when you put it on your charts, where those MSS indications and BOS indicators are for you to understand how they work. Order blocks. More significant market participants, which are institutions, with the ability of placing large orders in the market, would generally place a sequence of individual trades spread out in time. This is referred as executing what is called a meta order. Order blocks highlight the area where potential meta orders are executed. Bullish order blocks are located near local bottoms in an uptrend, while bearish order blocks are located near local tops in a downtrend. When price mitigates or breaks out of an order block, a breaker block is confirmed. We can eventually expect price to trade back to this breaker block offering a new trade opportunity. Buy side and sell side liquidity. 
buy side or sell side liquidity levels highlight price levels where market participants might place limit or stop orders. Buy side liquidity levels will regroup the stop loss orders of short traders, as well as limit orders of long traders, while sell side liquidity levels will regroup the stop loss orders of long traders, as well as limit orders of short traders. These levels can play different roles. More informed market participants might view these levels as source of liquidity, and once liquidity over a specific level is reduced, it will be found in another area. Imbalances. Imbalances highlight disparities between the bid ask. These can also be defined as inefficiencies, which would suggest that not all available information is reflected by the price and would as such provide potential trading opportunities. It is common to, for price to rebalance and seek to come back to the previous imbalance area. ICT highlights multiple imbalance formations, and that is explained by fair value gaps, implied fair value gaps, BPR, balance price range, volume imbalance, and opening gap. I'll let you go through this. I mean, some people know what all those things are, but you can kind of read through that, especially if you're interested in the indicator. Displacement. Displacements are scenarios where price forms successive candles of the same sentiment, like successive bullish or successive bearish candles with large bodies and short shadows. These can more technically be identified by positive autocorrelation. A close to open change is more likely to be followed by a change of the same sign, as well as volatility clustering. Large changes are followed by large changes. Displacements can be the cause for the formation of imbalances, as well as market structure. These can be caused by the full execution of a meta order. Kill zones. Kill zones represent different time intervals that aim at offering optimal trade opportunities. And this details the kill zones, which for some people is in itself a strategy. Conclusion and supplementary material. This script aims to emulate how a trader would draw each of the covered features on their chart in the most precise representation to how it's actually taught by ICT or the inner circle trader directly. There are many parallels between ICT concepts and smart money concepts, also known as SMC, that we released in 2022, which has a more general and simpler usage. ICT concepts, however, are more specifically aligned toward the community's interpretation of how to analyze price based on ICT, rather than displaying features to have a more classic interpretation for a technical analyst. And there you have it. This is a really detailed all-in-one indicator. So if you're interested in exploring ICT or you've already kind of started with it, this would be a great indicator to consider using to integrate all the ICT concepts. ICT concepts by Luke's algo.